Another thing we have more and more is bear. <gasps> Corn needed rain. It's drying up. He's he's saying, "What are you saying?" Dude, it's a total loss. He says it's a total loss. I'm gonna be a little more positive. <laughs> I mean, there's ears on there. Yeah, but they can't make them if it ain't got no water soup. But it'll be something. It won't be nothing. It'll be nothing about like that. for the fertilizer it's better than nothing but this was the picking corn. oh that's right this was gonna be the picking corn so now it's probably gonna be silage corn okay I forgot about that Obviously enjoyed that. You guys are out there topping tobacco on the very hottest day of the year. That's how that goes. Long dirt road that I've videoed several times, and he's been working on it. He said I'm not going to recognize it, and he's quite right. <laughs> That does look different. Wow. He cleared it. He cleared the sides. Because we were having a lot of trouble going down it with equipment. Limbs hitting and all that. Me and my boy came up here yesterday. Yeah. And fixed this post too. It was hanging. So. Woohoo. It looks good, Bonnie. Good. 
forsaken for volunteer corn. <laughs> Decent amount of volunteer corn. Little beans. That was our rock picking field. They look good on the river bottom. They do look good on the river bottom. All right, corn. This is more silage corn. Mm. How do you feel about this field? Fair. Fair. Well, fair could be worse. Get attacked by the giant pigweed. videoing he just saw a coyote cross I didn't see it I saw a shadow mm. we do have coyote around here for sure we don't see them an awful lot but they're here another thing we have more and more is bear <gasps> there, oh there it is oh, there it goes oh man you're right that looked like a young one oh wow I'm sure y'all didn't see that. I have it on video. I don't know if it really showed up. We'll see. Sure was. A little yoke. Oh boy. I bet people are going to ask if we have problems with them with our calves. What do you say? I'm not going to do He says he's lost 22 that he knows of. I mean, we're talking about over many years, but um, sometimes it's hard to know. Sure. Beavers or a bear have been in there? Beavers. Beavers. We're literally, there's the river right there. Any beaver tracks? <laughs> there are some little tracks here. Oh. Huh. I'm gonna see a beaver. That's what I know. That's what I'm saying. I'm looking at the. Tra I'm looking at it. I can see some little tracks there. Um, I mean, I don't know. Oh, there's a spider on my head. Come here, buddy. Granddaddy long leg. Where are you going, buddy? I got you. All right, he's free. Interesting little trip around the corn. to the house and take a water break. <laughs> Bonnie found some water. Hers was thirsty. Yeah. The, the collies love the pool. Bonnie, not so much. On the road again.
things that we moved a week Ooh. or so ago. that girl. Happy mamas. Love that sound. So we have a plug that has shrunk. Shrunk. So the water's coming out. So we're gonna, it's gonna replace it. like a simple fix. so bad in the shade. It's supposed to be the hottest day of the year. going to get more hay. Y'all, it's so hot. <laughs> Some of y'all asked more questions about the farm and history. So this, this barn right here behind me, it's one of my favorites. I just think it looks really cool. That up there is where the kids have their clubhouse. I'll link to that here. So I'm getting good at that. Um, so down here, my husband said this is where they used to, uh, they had mules. When he was growing up, they, they farmed with mules, <laughs> seriously. So he's plowed with mules. He's done all those things. So that helps me, well, it helps him definitely appreciate how far agriculture has come in his lifetime. And it helps me appreciate not having to use mules. Anyway, the mules stayed under here. There were stalls in there up here is where they kept hay in the hay loft and then there's another room over there that they used for tying tobacco so they used to have tobacco when he was growing up uh and he he had some i believe when he was younger i think he did some of that maybe in his early 20s i could be wrong about that but i know i know he was doing tobacco for a while and then there was the buyouts and people just started going out of tobacco. Tobacco was king in this county, Caswell County, North Carolina, for a long, long time. So now a lot of those farms have either gone out or have had to find other ways to diversify. 
So anyway, then that barn back there, let's see. That was also tobacco barn, I believe. And then there's another one down there that was a pack barn for tobacco. So there you go. There's a little Bernard farm history for you. And yeah, I do. I just like this old barn. I love, um, and this old gate right here. When I do photography sessions, I've used this old gate and that barn wall there. I've photographed brides, believe it or not, in front of that barn out there. There's something about the ju juxtaposition, there's my big word for the day, of a beautiful bride all dressed up in front of an old barn like that and the light here at sunset is amazing. So, there you go. One of my favorite places on the farm, especially for photographing. And those girls are smart. They're staying, staying where there's shade. It is warm today, for sure. The best part of summer, in my opinion, is this right here. Duke's mayonnaise. Two pieces of white bread and fresh tomatoes. We don't have a garden, but we have a neighbor, Jim, who's basically my new best, best friend because he keeps giving us all the good vegetables. Well, it's basically too hot to breathe, but we got to grind corn, so we're going to make the best of it. Right, Bonnie? Yeah, okay, that's what we're doing. You've got to get off the accelerator though. Oh, and the mule, the mule is doing well. I love it. We all love it, don't we, Bonnie? this lately and we haven't gotten anything so right, here's hoping Zuki time. No, I don't need every. I, I don't need that. I don't need all of y'all in here. But okay. All right. All you people that want to see me crank things, here you go. Here's one. Just kidding. Neutral is good. Oh no, I know what the problem is. It just doesn't start. That's the biggest problem. There we go. It just has to make up its mind. Jeez Louise. Okay, back from grinding corn. And we actually had a pretty big lunch, so we're not very hungry. So, tonight, it's just gonna be some burgers, fried, and bacon grease. And if you've never done that, you are missing out. Yeah. Hello. And I thought that real quick while I was here in the kitchen, it's relatively quiet. My daughter's out of town. We miss her dearly. And it's quiet. It's like too quiet. Um, that I would share, answer a few questions that people had on my last vlog. Somebody asked who this picture was. I think you were referring to this one. This is my mom. And 
Real quick, this was taken the night before she passed away. So she died. I had just graduated from college in May. She had retired in May with 29 years and one year of sick leave from North Carolina State University. She worked in Cooperative Extension. And anyway, she turned 50 in May. And she retired in December, turned 50 in May. I graduated and then June 13th, 2001, she passed away. She had a massive heart attack and died in her sleep. But the night before she died, she had gone out to eat with her girlfriends. She had a group of friends. They called themselves the Beach Bunnies. They went to the beach every year and they had regular girls night out. This dude was the waiter, but he's forever in that picture. <laughs> And it's just a great picture of her. She was smiling, she was happy, and she went way too soon. But I am not gonna cry. <laughs> I'm thankful for the time I had her. So, that's my mom, Sue Mills. I keep an assortment of pictures on my, I'm gonna turn this light on, on my refrigerator, um, friends of the family, our kids. I love this picture. This was taken, uh, the postman, the postman, the mailman, gave both of my kids cards. Was it for your birthday? No. Let's see. I think it was, maybe it was for getting out of school. Yeah, I can't even remember, but he gave them both money. He was amazing. We miss him. We don't have him anymore. My son's first deer. When he was, what, six? Yeah, he shot that when he was six. Anyway, and then some people asked about this wall. So I call this a gallery wall. I did this several years ago. I kind of want to revamp it a little bit with some different pictures, but um, somebody asked about that sign. That's a great old hymn that I love. And all these others are photographs that I've taken on the farm for cows. That you can buy that one. <laughs> That's one I have for sale, and a picture of my daughter and some words that I have put with it. When we see one another in the light of Christ, we see through an unfiltered lens. Plenty of things in life, plenty of things make a life long, but few things make a life full. Those are just things I did. And grace, faith. Um. I love that Psalm 127 4. Like arrows in the hands of a lawyer, so are the children of one's youth. The children are like arrows. And my kids. And that picture, the reflection doesn't help, but. Let's see. Uh, that didn't help a lot either. Anyway, that's the one that I took of the two kids. Um, and one of our. You can turn it on, baby. One of our fields. When I first started doing photography, air quote professionally with my, my first full frame professional camera. If there's any camera people out there, it was a Nikon D50. That's what it was. Yeah. No. Yeah. D50. Uh -huh. And so anyway, I always love, I just love that picture. And so I had it one up. So, and then up there, little kitchen tour. My son's, a couple of pair of my son Wesley's boots that he absolutely wore out. When he was that age, see, when he was little, he literally lived in boots, a cowboy hat, usually a red bandana, and if you asked him his name, it was John Wayne Wesley Robert Bernard. No, it wasn't. Yeah, it was. He doesn't like me telling that, but they did. We were in the grocery store talking to people. Little ladies would come up and ask, ask him what his name was, and that's what he would say because he chose to watch John Wayne instead of cartoons, which I love. We still love John Wayne, don't we? Oh. Okay, one more thing. And there's this. He made this when he was in first grade for a little school project. Oh, I can't get it all. Um, what did you have to do? You had to write a little book. I can't remember. I think it. John Wayne. This is what he chose to do his little book report on. <laughs> it's amazing. Oh, No, it's in a knot, and this is taking time. I'll just do this. So he's got some quotes, cowboy and a warrior, sheriff. It's just this whole little book with cowboy things in it. I'm gonna do that. 
super cool. I love it. And let me put that scripture on there. Be strong and courageous. Do your own thing. Everyone should. So Wesley. Treasure. I treasure that. So, saved right there for now. And that's about it. This thing right here is one of my favorite things in my kitchen. It was not cheap. I think it was like $75 or something. <laughs> but it has been the most useful thing. And we don't really drink out of regular cups. We drink out of jars. I just like them. And so we don't have very much cabinet space in here, as you can tell, or counter space that's not full of stuff. So this, this little rack has been amazing. So that will conclude the tour of our little kitchen. I'm going to finish these burgers and we're going to call it a night. I hope. <laughs> okay, here it is all stretched out. That's so cool. The back. That's the back and that was the other side. I love it. Until next time.